Today we're going to talk about how to properly connect tubing to a prominent pump. Uh, here's a brand new prominent pump right out of the box. Uh, some very short pieces of tubing just for demonstration. In a plant you're actually going to have longer pieces of tubing that you're going to be using more than likely. But for demonstration we're just going to stay with some, some shorter lengths. Uh, these are what tubing connector sets look like that are shipped to you if you need to replace them. They normally come in an envelope in a package of two. For Teflon you're going to have either a brown connector uh, gasket or a white connector gasket. Both of these are acceptable. Uh, this is brown, not black. So if it's black, you don't want to use it. You want to use brown or white. And those come with the connector sets. Uh, first step is to connect the priming pump, the priming tubing that goes back to the tote when you're priming the pump. We we'll always want to make sure we start with a nice clean cut on the tubing so that we get a good connection, nice and straight. And then you're going to take the pump and on the back here is the the priming vent connection so you're going to unloosen the nut you're going to put it over the tubing like that then you're going to press that tubing right on the connection all the way up to the threads firmly As you can see it's all the way up to the threads there and then tighten it on with the nut these need to be hand tightened tightly you don't want to use a wrench or anything on these. A hand tightened is tight enough. That's the way they're designed. Yeah, so. So that's on there. It's nice and tight. It's not going to come off and it's not going to leak. Okay, moving on to the actual pump suction, inlet, and discharge. Uh, they're both the same. We're going to show you on the discharge just for simplicity's sake. Again, we're going to start by cutting a nice straight edge on the tubing using just a pocket razor knife, just to make sure we have a nice clean connection that's flat and clean and doesn't have any burrs. So that's what that looks like. Take the connectors off the top of the pump. I'm gonna lay out the pieces here for you. You've got the, the nut, you've got uh, the, the sleeve or the insert that has a shoulder on it that's going to fit into the nut with the uh, tapered end um, going into the nut. So uh, show it down here for contrast. It's going to go into the nut like this. And then you've got the tubing connector is going to go in like that. And then finally, you've got this gasket or washer that goes in. So that's how it's going to be assembled when it is assembled. And now we're going to actually assemble the four pieces on the tubing. So we're gonna put the nut on the tubing first. The threads are here. This is the flat. And then we're going to put the, uh, the taper into the tubing first. So you can see there, the taper is on that end. And we're gonna push that up. And then this is the part that goes inside the tubing. So that's gonna go right in there just like that and then finally we've got the washer that's going to go uh, between this connector and the actual pump discharge itself so we'll put all that down we'll put the washer inside and now we're going to put this onto the pump discharge and tighten it and what this tightening is going to do is it's going to force all of those pieces together very tightly and also watertight or liquid tight so there won't be any leaks coming out of the connection when it's done. Usually, hand tight is good enough on this. It might be that you wanna just give it a tight snug, one snug with a, um, with a channel lock or something like that. But that's how it goes together. And I'm gonna take it off now to show you just how the pieces have tightened down uh, through the process of connecting it to the pump itself. So there's the Teflon washer. And there are the pieces, and you can see how they're very tightly connected. Also notice right in here where the tubing is on the very flat of the, the tubing connector that goes inside the tubing, and this taper is on the outside. This is a very tight, leak-proof connection. I'm going to tighten it down one more time just so you can see. When it properly installed, 
the tubing is very secure and liquid tight. You can't pull that off now. So that's a good connection. That's the proper way to connect your tubing to your prominent pump.